I just wanted to come back on real quick um, and actually talk <laughs> about the trans, uh, the transparent, translucent um, wax beads. So I'm gonna send a message to Craft uh, Spire, to Craft Spire. Let me say that nicer. Um, <laughs> because these are weird and I'm not sure if they're supposed to be weird. I'm not sure if it's me um, or what, but they act more, I, they don't act like um, the regular wax beads that I'm used to. And they cool, this one especially, um, as soon as you start pouring it out of the spoon, they start cooling so you can't really smash them with the wax seals um the clear was a little better and i did show that in the video um it it's okay it's not fabulous but it's okay um yeah they just act a little weird plus they destroyed my favorite wax melting spoon <laughs> i cannot um there is a it's just a residue in there from this one. It almost acted like a like a super glue. I wouldn't even say glue gun because that would have come out. Um, or like a uh, hot glue. Uh, but yeah, it destroyed my spoon. Um, I can't really use this because when I, I thought, well, I'll just put, I put the black ones in here for the hexagon. Um, I thought, well, I'll just I'll just put black in here. You won't see it. It'll all melt together and then it'll clean the spoon out for me. It did not. It just, um, it's got that residue. And then I don't know if you can see all the, the black stuck to it. So I don't think I would want to use this again, um, which is sad because it's my favorite one. It's nice and deep. And um, so anyway, it could be, I don't know, it could be me, um, but I would not recommend these for wax seals. I'm going to try and come up with a, an alternative use for them um, so I can show you, you know, a way to use them without the wax seals because I really, I don't think that I'll, I'll use them for that. They just don't work right for the way I do wax seals. Um, so anyway, that being said, um, I will be back. Well, I'm going to try. <laughs> I'll try first to come up with another use for these, and then I'll show you if I do come up with another use for them. Um, I am incredibly happy with how this turned out, and I love this one too. Now, this was one of the new seals, and so was the hexagon. It's right here. Um, you do need a lot of beads to, um, to get this one to work, as you saw in the video. I had to fill two spoons at the same time. Um, which is, you know, it's fine. And then I love this one as well. This um, this is also from Crestfire. This was from my last haul video, if you saw that. Um, but I love how that turned out. Now, I thought about cutting out the oval, you know, so it was more like the hexagon, but then I decided I liked it the way it is. So um, I did not do that. So also I'm having some issues with this. Um, I'm sure you've seen in the videos where I've used it. I'm not sure. Again, it could be me. So if anyone has any suggestions on how to make this marble not um, grab, like it doesn't release very well. I have to like, you know, attack it with a spatula. And I don't think I should have to do that. So if anybody has any suggestions, let me know. But I'll also ask um, the ladies at Crest Buyer if they can help me with that. And I'll get back to you. Um, what else? I think that's it. Oh, I'll be back with a video on how I'm planning on using these um, these seals, these gold and silver seals. I have a plan, um, so I will be back in another video with that. All right, guys. I hope um, I hope you've had fun. I, I had fun. I love this. It's gonna go in my bee journal as soon as I um, get around to it. Um, and yeah, I'll be back soon. I hope you have a fabulous day. Thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye.